Welcome back guys to the Hands of Tavius. This is Jesse here and we're coming back with our second pack opening. Hope you guys were able to tune into the first one. Let us know what you guys thought. You know, all criticism is appreciated. Obviously this is a new channel. I haven't had too much experience with live broadcasting and uh, appreciate all the tips and feedback that you guys may have to offer us. Uh, so, those who haven't joined us, this is uh, Disney's card game Slokana into the Inklands. Uh, this is actually their third expansion into the series so far. And, um, you know, kind of want to see what you guys speculate about the future of this expansion, all the additional sets, and the, the game as a whole. Actually, sorry, I'm having a little hard time opening these packs. Uh, you know, like I had mentioned in the previous video, Lorcana had a. Uh, Ravenberg has a 10 year plan for Lorcana. But it doesn't mean that it's always going to pan out. So uh, let's see what kind of pulls we get today. And first card is Mama Odi. The Lamp. And actually, the same card as last time a Foil Mickey Mouse Common. Interesting. It's actually quite interesting. First pack. Same. I think I got the lamp. I'll have to go back and check that last video. Uh, for those who don't know, though, Lacan is a trading card game. Very similar to other card games like Magic, and the goal is to get to 20 lore instead of attacking each other. You're actually trying to improve upon your lore. There are main type of cards are character cards. You also have actions and you also have items. We have Pluto, Orleans Gyro Sensor, and a Foil Baboom. Uh, there was also recently a new type of card introduced called lands or locations um, which provide an extra new change to the game. All right, let's see what we got in this pack. Olympus, Peter Pan, Cubby, Firebird, Repair, Boss's Orders, 99 Puppies, Wild Catch, I got Baloo, Queen's Castle, and a Foil Stratus Tornado Titan. Uh, you know, let us know, you guys, what cards you guys like. You know, particularly some people like the artwork, which I find actually quite quite enjoyable. It's actually why I enjoy Pokemon cards so much. The artwork, I think, is quite fantastic for some cards. Let's... And so when with these packs, if you don't know, generally you get several common to uncommon cards. And that's followed by two rares and a foil. There are a class of cards called Enchanted, which is the highest rarity, which is what everybody is seeking at this time. And other than that, you do have super rares, rares, then your uncommons and commons. Uh, the game is made up similar to Pokemon and Magic, you know, multiple colors. Uh, you know, you have, let me pull over everything, you got Amber, Emerald, Sapphire, Amethyst, Ruby, and Steel. Sometimes I can never figure out why some packs are so hard to open. Uh, the big kicker about this game, which I think kind of sets it apart from Pokemon and Magic, is that you can have multiple players. Uh, so, you know, while most games have two players, this you can have three, four, and potentially even more, which adds a new dynamic. Got a nice Ursula, an Ariel, and a Foil Magic Dispel. So while most tournaments and Magic and Pokemon focus on single player, which I'm sure Lorcana will do initially, you can actually theoretically have team matches or free falls, which would change the meta of the deck quite a bit when you're Facing multiple opponents. Diablo, Pluto, Kita, Kakamora, Sirhis, Quick Patch, Mountain, Nala, 
Samirian Talisman. We got Prince Eric. Wendy Darling. Ah, nice foil Tinkerbell. Uh, you know, while each expansion does, you know, add new cards, new mechanics to the game, you know, it also brings in new lore. And I'd actually like to read you what uh, Ravensburg and Disney has brought forward with this. So they said, the flood has washed away the precious lore far into the inkland. Eager to recover what was lost, adventure lumineers head into the unknown reaches of the realm. Wander and Mysterious awaits them at every turn, but their goals remain. The scattered lore must be returned to the Hall of Lorcana before it falls into the wrong hands. Oh, Gramatala. And Neverland. I do like these location cards. That. So, you know, there's a lot of a lot more that can go into it, and obviously we hope that this game continues and grows and new mechanics are implemented, similar to Pokemon, which keeps the game fresh and keeps people playing and collecting, and I think that's the big thing. You can't just collect cards, you have to have a semi decent game behind it. On your feet now. Cursed Merfolk, and Chernabog's Followers. I apologize during the last video for uh, how I handle some of the commons and uncommons, but I have very limited space on this desk. Alright. So far, no enchanted after a box and a half. Obviously, I think the pull rates are expected to be one out of every 96 pack is quoted right now. But we'll see if that holds. Seen quite a few people have actually pulled multiple enchanted from the same box. But then some people can't pull enchanted out of several boxes. So we'll see what our luck is like. Haven't had a chance to look to see what percentage of cards I got out of that first box. I did sleeve the ones I needed, but I think I got a good chunk, except for all of the rares. It's just in camera. All right, there we go. Sorry, guys, focusing. It's been an issue. Stratus, little John, and an Airfoil again, duplicates. I know that one for sure I've gotten. Um, and obviously a big part of the community too would be to get some good YouTubers. Obviously I've been trying to look for some good content for Lorcana. It is a little bit harder to find than Pokemon. Let's see, it's a new game, new niche. Maybe different clientele who are maybe geared more towards the collector's aspect than playing aspects. I do know Disney fans can be quite protective. Oh, it's Jetson back. Actually, it looks... I wonder if I have to compare this to the prior Jetson. Same features, it looks like, or skills. Now, let us know, guys. Are you guys opening? How many packs do you guys plan on opening? Are you a collector? Or are you a potential competitive player? Obviously there's room for everybody in this game. Obviously I know we've been showcasing a lot of Lorcana, secondary to the timing of starting this channel, but I do plan to open up one of these booster boxes of Pokemon right here behind us. You know, right in front of us we do have all the way from Silver Tempest all the way up to Paradox Rift with Temporal Forces coming out in about a month. Uh, personally, I'm a, a big fan of the Sword and Shield era. Haven't quite found this set within Scarlet Violet. I do like obviously 151, Paldean Fades, but those are all kind of specialty sets. So I would like to get Something, not bad, Pyrus, something in a booster bundle, or a booster box, I mean, 
that I can open. I, know I like all those UPCs and specialty collection sets, but to me, it's a lot of plastic. I mean, even opening this is a lot of plastic and cardboard, but just makes my mailman or uh, my mailman and my uh, recycle man a lot happier when there's a lot less stuff. Heart of Atlantis, Huey, and Dalmatian. So, you know, one of these cards I'm starting to notice actually starting to get quite a bit more doubles. I definitely plan on doing an actual inventory of kind of what percentage of cards have been attained from a non-foil set. I keep wanting to always do a pack trick on this after Pokemon. You know, let us know guys in the comments though, what kind of content you're looking for. Are you looking more just pack openings, talking about the cards, nice, a legendary Mickey Mouse, and a foil Pongo. Uh, and obviously, you know, we want to talk about some of the news, things like that. You know, eventually we'll like to talk about some of the business aspect of Pokemon and Lorcana. Obviously being an upstart, now is not the ideal time. Ooh, did I see something there? All right, let's uh, let's take this pack. Nottingham, Voyage, Flotsam, Bestow a Gift, Kit Cloud Kicker, Cleansing Rainwater. We got a Tannin's Palace, Kit Cloud Kicker again. Chernabog's Followers, Peter Pan, Lucky, on our first Enchanted, Pride's Rock. So the foil's pretty cool. You know, Pride Rock, other lands or locations are definitely on the lower tier. I'm actually gonna slide back for a second, grab a sleeve. But any any enchanted is a nice pool on that. I'll take that as a first one in our second box. All right, our first one, guys. We will make a little stack over there and continue. Thought I saw that out of the corner of my eye, but wasn't sure because yeah, I saw that rainbow on the side, which was on the bottom. All right, the question is, is can we get a second enchanted out of this box? I know the odds are pretty low. Pretty low that we'll get any enchanted actually out of the next two boxes, theoretically, if the pull rate is true. All right. Map of Treasure Planet, Genie, and a foil Pluto. Yeah, that, uh, that enchanted threw me off there for a second and kind of lost my train of thought. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so let us know what kind of content. Like I said, you know, primarily we're not trying to be the Pokey Rev or the Pokey Vault. You know, shout out to those guys. They do amazing things. But, uh, Anticipate more of a, a pokey any, you know, Brian kind of vibe. Let you know what's going on, pull some cards, what we're collecting, what the access to these cards is looking like. And uh, go from there. So we got six packs left, guys. Six packs, one enchanted. I'll have to go through. Yesterday we pulled, I believe it was five legendaries, 11 super rares, and the rest were rares. And that seems like a pretty good pull rate. There has been some word that some people are getting boxes without any hits and a legendary Milo Thatch. That's actually a pretty card. Let's see here. Um, I'm not sure the validity that obviously I kind of agree with some of the other YouTubers that 
you should probably open your packs on camera at this point if that's happening um i've heard a lot of discards a lot of errors so we'll see kind of what other issues arise obviously ravenberg's probably going to clamp down on that i did hear some of the discards are worth quite a bit Hades, and I've got a dream foil. Yeah, like I said in the last video, the cold foils are not my not my top choice for foil. I think that Disney could probably do a lot better, and we'll see over time how that goes. It just doesn't have quite that shine that some of it. Oh, that was rough. Thank God it was a discard. Um, that some of the other card companies have. Pua, Voltor, Pluto, Ursula, it calls me. Got a non-foil John Silver, which we have in foil. A Maui, which we have in foil, and a Simba. Yeah, I'm really interested to see. Obviously, most people probably don't expect to open multiple booster boxes of Lorcana. And this will hopefully give some people some idea of what their pull rates will be. Hopefully we do pull above our weight class, but we're just gonna come to the back of the pack at this point. To kind of minimize these videos. Simba and Sinclair. Alright. The last two packs, last two packs. Uh you know, I thought about doing some ripping shipping on TikTok, which we still might do. If you're interested in that, you know, let us know. We would love to do some Lorcana ribbon ship and get you guys some packs and hopefully get you some luck. Honestly, hopefully I can show my luck. Fang, Sheriff of Nottingham, and On Your Feet. I do think that the pull rate overall for Lorcana compared to Pokemon is, is much stiffer. Obviously, there are some legendaries that are worth quite a bit if you're going from a value aspect, which I don't recommend most people open cards for a value aspect. Um, and last pack. All right. Magic Carpet. Louie. Minnie Mouse. Moana. Cubby. Mr. Snoops. Flint Heart. Little John. Hey, hey. Halga Sinclair. Lyle. And a foil Moana. All right. Thanks, guys, again for tuning in. Let's actually look at this a little closer. Front corners look pretty good. Yeah, probably not a 10. There's a little whitening on the top right corner and the top edge. Maybe a tiny bit of whitening there. Otherwise... Surface. Yeah, it looks like maybe a yeah, pretty good. That'll be interesting to see. I do have a couple of other enchanteds that we plan on sending off to PSA, might as well. Alright guys, stay tuned for more. Thanks.